in a in a similar fashion to how I developed the foundation for Renfield's character, I also take a similar approach to the lead female protagonist of the story. Now, Arizona Dos Santos, uh, Arizona's situation is a little bit different because Arizona was raised from childhood in a criminal lifestyle. Her mentor is, is a bit of a weaponsmith, and the two of them would sell weapons to the, the various criminal agencies in the, uh, in the context of the Afterburner story storyline. And by the time we meet Arizona in the first issue, she's, she's had a good 20 years in the game. Uh, there's a, a line in the in the uh, story, in, in the context of the story, that says that uh, Arizona has, has done it all and she's seen it all. She's played all the players. And in the first issue, Arizona has come to a point in her life where she's decided that she wants to make a change to she wants to, to live on the straight and narrow, as she says. But she also has a bit of dialogue in the first issue where she says words to the effect of she's never been a good girl, but she's trying. That one little piece of dialogue basically, uh, basically defines Arizona's entire motivation as a character. She's trying to make a change. And of course, you know, as, as some of us may be able to, to relate to that, you know, even though we try to make changes, usually there's something in the past that will, you know, try to prevent us from making that change or, 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 or um, you know, have us regress back to, to what we were before. If I were going to describe the, the most capable and most dangerous person within the, the context of the Afterburner story, then I would say it's Arizona. And that's not because of any special fighting powers or, you know, she's not an excellent hand-to-hand -hand combatant or anything like that. Uh, no, Arizona's, Arizona's uh, strength comes from her experience in that adventure environment. She grew up, you know, digging up these, these mystic treasures. She grew up traveling through, uh, through space and through time to these far off worlds and you know encountering mystic forces. Uh, Arizona's just the, the, the total package as, as an, an adventure hero uh, when you couple that type of experience with her personality of being very resourceful and, and just very adaptable to any situation. And I've also crafted Arizona in the, the, the classic template of, of the femme fatale. So she has this, this raw sensuality about her, just this, this quality that, that, that attracts men, women, alien creatures, any, anyone or anything that she encounters um, is subject to, to fall under this spell of hers. Um, and it's not something that she does consciously, really. Renfield, um, Renfield has a line in the, uh, has a bit of dialogue in the first issue where he says that uh, it's, it's in the way that Arizona moves her hands, how she, how she walks around the room. There's just something, uh, just something intimately sensuous about just her movements, just her, her, her whole personality just kind of exudes this thing, uh, this, this, this attraction. And, and of course, being the resourceful person that she is, Arizona takes full advantage uh, of the effect that she has uh, at every chance that she gets. When I'm writing dialogue for Arizona or trying to figure out uh, how she's going to react into a situation, uh, I go back to the lexicon of the blues and not necessarily a specific blues song or a blues artist for Arizona, but I do think of a, a, a blues progression just a, a progression of chords. Thank you. 
it's a, a standard progression. Nothing, nothing. Um, uh, it, it's not a particular song. It's, it's just a standard progression that a musician would play and then layer their words on top. But the point is that you'll notice that that progression is very easy for the listener to to lock into almost immediately. You uh, kind of start swaying with with the with the beat of that of that rhythm. Um, you can just imagine someone sauntering around the room in time with the beat of that rhythm. And at the same time, it's inviting, but at the same time, there's also just a little touch of, a, a hint of mischief in the tonality of that groove. And it, it's, it's almost mesmerizing or hypnotic in a way, uh, just how easy it is to lock into that groove and kind of, you know, move along with it. The words that I use to describe that musical progression are almost exactly the same words that I would use to describe the effect that Arizona, uh, Arizona's presence has on the people around her. So that's how I hear sounds or, or, or tonalities, musical tonalities, and then translate those, those tonalities into personality traits of, of a character. It, it's a it's a little different way of, of looking at um, inspiration for for character development, but it, it works for me. Mm -hmm.